Hi, this is John from Pipeline FX. I'm going to show you how to build a local repository for all your cube installation packages. This local repo can be used to uh, install cube on all the machines in your network. You can also use it if you have a site that does not have internet access. You can download the packages in advance from a machine that does have internet access, put all these files onto a local thumb drive, walk it into your site, put it on your network, and run the installation from there. First of all, we're going to need to get the cube installer utility from our website. Go to www.pipelinefx.com and you'll see the products. Cube installer, download, and we're going to get the cube installer for each operating system that I anticipate I'll need uh, to install cube on. I'm going to pretend I'm going to install on Windows and OS 10, so I get the Windows installer first. And I'm going to save this to a thing, something, where is it? There it is, cube files. And I'm also going to get the installer for OS X and put it in the same location. I'll be back as soon as these downloads are done. My installer downloads are done, so what I'm going to do is open up the, the cube files folder where I've put them. I'm going to unzip both of these. They're, the installer is delivered in a compressed format. For OS 10, it's in a DMG, and on Windows, it's in a zip file. So I'm going to and I'll find it in here. I'm just going to copy this back up to the root, and then I'm just going to clean up that folder. I don't need that anymore. Then I'm going to run the installer itself to go and get all the packages I need. First thing I need to do is go and get the we use what we call a manifest file. It's a list of all the files we'll need. We'll go and get it from the our public PFX internet repository. Just click OK. And I'm going to put this in the same spot that I put the installers. Continue. Now I'm going to use the download option only to pre-populate my local repository. I'm going to go get the installers for OS X um, 10.8. There we go. And I'm just going to continue. It's going to it's going to install for all these packages, and I will be back. Actually, we'll just let it run. It's only going to be a few seconds. I'll be back when they're done. Hi, my download is finished for all the OS 10. I can just say done. And I want to go get the Windows uh, installers as well. So I'll, once again, if I'm running on an OS 10 box, so I will use the OS 10 installer. And I am going to go and instead of using the public manifest file, I can use the local one that I've just saved. And I'll go find it. There it is. Cube files. Point to that QMF cube manifest file. So now I can get the local list. And I'm going to download again, but I want to get the Windows 64-bit. And I will just say continue. And here we go, it's downloading. What I notice here is it's made two directories now for me. One for Windows and one for OS X. With all the packages I need, they're all nicely sorted. And the installer, when I run it later, will know where to find everything. It downloads up to three, it run up to three downloads at the same time, and we're done. Now that I've got my files on in these cube files, I'm actually going to copy this entire folder up onto a thumb drive so that I can walk it. Or I can take it to my remote site. That copy will be done in a minute, and I'll return when it's finished. Copy is just about finished now, and I can see that. I've got all my files here and there, cube files. So I can take this, I can eject this thumb drive, take it with me, and go and do my installs directly from it, or I can copy the contents of that thumb drive up to a network somewhere and install from there. And in another uh, video, I'll show you how to run the installer itself to install a worker on perhaps a Windows machine using the same repository. 